Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Wilson. I am going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to create your painting for uh, our uh, color theory uh, unit uh, on monochromatic color scheme or monochromatic uh, uh, color scale. Um, you probably have seen it in the slideshow that basically monochromatic color scheme is it's all shades of one color. You create a uh, color scale from um, one color by and add to it white uh, to make the colors lighter uh, that's what we call tint and then add to it black um, to make the color darker and that's what we call shade basically as you see here uh, the monochromatic color scheme creates unity in an artwork it always looks uh, visually pleasing uh, because all the colors are pretty much the same um, family belong to the same family so it looks good together uh, the colors look balanced some people say that it can be boring because it's always just one color and um, would like to break it up with another color um, I specifically like to use uh, in a project a complementary color to make sure that there is some kind of visual um, interest in a project uh, but as I mentioned monochromatic color scheme is really um, a good one to work with because it's always um, seems that the color the colors uh, uh, look unified and they belong together. We use, it, we use the monochromatic color schemes in fashion, um, um, interior design um, because it always works and creates a soothing effect. So I'm gonna put this aside. Uh, what we are going to do first is create a monochromatic color scale in your sketchbook. So you figure out how to mix the color lighter and darker. I'm going to write upside down and I'm going to show it. So in your sketchbook, I would like you to write monochromatic color scheme or color scale. And we're going to draw nine shapes in a row. You can go in any direction. I'm just going to go And a U shape, and for you it's a arch. This is going to be our clean, uh, pure hue in the middle, H U E. On one side we are going to be working with making tints, and then the opposite side we making shades. It's quite hard to write upside down. Hope you guys can read it. Check on the camera. All right. That's that. So what you're gonna do is on a paper plate set out uh, a color for yourself and black and white paint for everyone. So that means if you're sitting four at the table, if you guys are sitting four at the table, you need uh, one black, one white, and maybe four color. If uh, different people use the same color, then obviously you don't need four different colors. I'm gonna be using red, uh, black, and white um, to work with and um, need a paintbrush water don't forget to wear apron and this is not going to make a big mess um, so you don't really need to have newspaper on the table but you can put the newspaper on your table and you can use it as your mixing sheet so the first thing we're going to be doing is adding the pure hue straight out of the bottle I'm going to go ahead and paint my first shape red when I'm done with the red um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some to the side for myself and wash my brush out. Wash it really well, please. Also, don't forget to set out maybe a piece of paper towel so you can dry the brush. And the first thing I'm going to go do is uh, create my tints. The paint that I set aside is going to be used for adding a uh, a lighter tint and I'm making it lighter and lighter so I'm gonna get some white mix it in with my red paint and I hope that uh, it shows a little difference and go ahead and paint the next color on the side but it says tint and I'm gonna go ahead keep that paint there wash my brush again dry it get some more white as you see tip of the brush mix it in with the same color it is a lot harder to work this way when you are trying to make a color lighter because all the colors eat up the white so it would be easier to work backwards but 
just to follow the um, chart we're gonna be working this way today again wash the brush get more paint and use the same color that you already mixed on that paper plate adding more white one more time I'm running out of the paint that's why it's harder and harder to paint here so that's good wash my brush one more time and this time I'm gonna use a lot of white to make a very very light tint for the last color and then basically I'm done with the tints you can pause the video now and go ahead and create four different tints of your chosen color and then you're gonna be back with mixing shades so for mixing shades I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the paint to the side again and when that one is done I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush so here we go the first shade shade is again mixing it with black if you can see I just add a teeny tiny amount of black to the red because it can be really strong black is a very very strong color it can darken your color immediately and as you see when you add black to red it's gonna come out as a maroon depends on what color you are choosing you might just going to make your colors lighter and darker or you are actually creating a new color if you are using yellow uh, orange um, and red these warm colors when you mix them with black will turn into kind of a brownish color the yellow will be khaki uh, the orange will be like a pure brown red is going to be as you see kind of a maroon color go again I washed my brush and added a touch of black and mix my color here comes my next maroon color again it's kind of a brownish color wash my brush again dry the brush and add more black to that same color here we go it's kind of hard to see the difference that it's not black but it is not it's a mucky black and then here comes my last color adding a lot more black to it it's a powder red there we go pretty all right this could be a bit lighter I'm gonna go ahead and fix that so I don't like it there nice better so there you go uh, these are four different shades of the same color so go on ahead um, and uh, you can pause the video and continue with uh, mixing four different shades keep your sketchbook open when you put it in your bin 